Hey guys, this is the Universal Giant, and this is Pokemon Emerald, and welcome to the Hoenn Pokemon League. This video has been a long time coming, let me tell you. I finished this game maybe a month ago or something, and I just stopped here because I always wanted to... I wanted to wait for the right time to record this, and... Well, the right time didn't come up until right about now when I realized, holy crap, I haven't recorded this yet, so I probably should. Uh, before I head in there, I will show you my team, which consists of... I'm not going to read off the movesets, you can see them for yourself. Blaziken! Gardevoir! Manetric! Agron! Ludicolo! And Altaria! Pretty much, I just put this team together blindly because I had never played the third generation before, and I was very happy to realize how some of these guys evolved, and... Yeah, thank you for moving out of the way. I don't know why you get fanfare mu music for that, it never really felt fitting. Anyway, this is the first time I've ever gone through this place, although I have had a few practice runs with this, just to make sure I could do it and didn't embarrass myself. My whole team is level 50 because I didn't really feel like going in here completely under level, but at the same time I still wanted a challenge, so I thought 50 was fine. Anyway, here's Sydney. He's a dark guy, I guess. When I first saw him, he looked like a fire kind of person. And when I first saw Mighty Enya, I thought it was... How do you pronounce that anyway? I'm going to butcher all of these names because I never played this generation until like a month ago. So forgive me. But Dark, it, I'm learning very much that having a fighting type on your team is very helpful. There are surprisingly no, a good number of things that are weak to fighting. I mean, in the, in the first two generations, I don't know about you, but I never really bothered using any fighting types. But now I find myself using guys like Blaziken and uh, Gallade and Heartgold. It's a fighting type. Do I have a fighting type in? Oh yeah, Infernape in uh, the fourth gen. Absolutely. You guys are just throwing dark types at me. Am I? This is. Well, I guess this is the first elite four member, so it's not supposed to be very difficult. Absol is a surprise Pokemon for sure. Yeah, go ahead and use your sword stance. That's not really going to help you. I mean, the only reason I taught Blaziken and Brick Break is because it's not high enough level to learn Sky Uppercut, and I don't really intend to play this game after I beat the Elite Four anyway, so it's never going to learn it, and I figured I might as well teach it Brick Break. Okay, this is probably going to be a very boring video. I was hoping it would be a little bit more interesting than this, but it's not. And speaking of things that should be more interesting than they are, third generation. I can see why people don't like it very much, compared to the others. I mean, first generation, you can't beat the classics. Because when Pokemon first came out, it was incredible. And then it kind of died off when everybody was embarrassed after, like, the first couple of years. At least I was. So I pretty much stopped playing this entirely after the second gen. Which I guess I'm better off for, because the third generation can't hold a candle to that. None of them can. Fourth generation came close, I mean, enhanced graphics and everything, it is pretty cool looking. Especially when you bring it back to the second gen with the remakes that they just made this year. Incredible. I don't really feel like splitting the video here, I'm just gonna keep going. Let's get testing the dialogue. I forget who was next. And walk in there, I guess we'll find out, because I get time to switch up the team a bit. And there's no reason for me to get damage. Uh, Phoebe, what do you have? By the way, I love the Elite Four music here. Do 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 do. Okay, let's just turn I'm saving Joel for the other guys. Ah, uh, forget what you have. You're not Ghost, are you? She might be Ghost. Um, mm, Ghost, Ghost, Ghost. Yeah, let's go. Everyone, he's not going to get very much action anyway. Maybe the next guy is Ghost, so I'm just completely stupid. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever played the third generation. Although I did have a few practice runs, I forget who's who. And now that I think about it, this is not the Ghost. I forget what she has. Oh, she is Ghost. Never mind. Okay, so let's see if we can land a few hits in here. Uh, take down Iron Tail. Earthquake it. Oh, right, it does protect. That's why I hate this thing so much. Ugh, oh, it's so broken. But nothing is more broken than abusing double team, and a number of 
the Elite Four members here love doing that. Yeah, you go ahead and stick yourself with a nail in the face. Now, as long as she doesn't... She is going to full heal, isn't it? Full restored. Uh... I don't want to take more damage than I need to. So... Yeah, Umbrella's not going to get too much action here, either. I guess I can go through why I nicknamed these guys what I did. Yeah, full restore, I so called it. Uh, when I called Lotad, I called it Umbrella because I wasn't really feeling very smart or uh, witty in terms of naming stuff. So I just named it the first thing that came to my mind, and I thought Umbrella would have been a stupid name, so I just put an ER there instead of an A. Yeah, you keep protecting yourself. It's not as if I'm going to run out of PP for my moves very quickly. So, yeah, uh, come on, can you do anything other than protect? Really? I mean, you've done one curse, and that's it. The rest of this has been protect. I'm fitting this all into one video, damn it. Bonnet. Uh. Uh. I really should have planned this out a little bit better than I did. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can stay out there. Probably has... I mean, knowing my luck, it probably is a flying move or something, although I doubt it does. Uh, I'm running out of surfs already? What, did that thing have pressure? Damn it, I don't like when I'm not informed about things that have pressure. Let's try a dive. Oh, for a second I thought it was doing fly. Oh no, now I can only use attacking moves. But all I have are attacking moves anyway. Joke's on you. Alright, Will-O-Wisp. I guess it's a bit of an underrated move. I never really like to use it, but it's just annoying. Hmm. I know another dive isn't going to kill it. So, I guess I could try two more surfs and see what happens. Hopefully she won't full restore the thing. Or that works too. I honestly forget which is stronger, Surf or Dive, because I never use Dive. It's, the, it's only in this generation, I don't really care. Uh, I completely forgot what she was sending out. It's the thing that's not weak to anything. Yeah, go Agron. Although I think this is the one that likes to use Double Team a lot. So I probably should have sent out Altaria, who I just taught Aerial Ace before this fight. So hopefully Iron Tail will hit. Good. Practice run, it did not hit, and this thing was extremely difficult to catch. Okay, so I'm anticipating this thing's going to do another double team, and I'm not going to be able to hit it after that. So I'll just use Aerial Ace. Ah, huff and puff. Yes, it is a reference to the Paper Mario Boss Chapter 7. I honestly didn't... I wanted to have a flying type on this team, for no reason other than the fact that I really never use flying types that aren't among the starting choices, like Charizard I love to pick in the first gen, which should be made ever more apparent from my stream. So I saw Swablu, and I remembered from uh, my Heart Gold rematches. Oh, I forgot this thing had Ice Beam. Sorry, buddy. I can't let you take another one of those. So I forgot you had a Citrus Berry. What, what was I talking about? Uh, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Flying types. Um. Yes, that was it. I was talking about why I can't figure out what I'm talking about. No, I remember Lance had an Altaria, so I figured it must have been a part Dragon type, and I said to myself, cool, Dragon types, I've always wanted to have a Dragon type on my team. So I picked up a Swablu and started training that thing. Of course it knows Earthquake, why wouldn't it know Earthquake? Everything should know Earthquake. I should still be able to take it out with a Thunderbolt anyway. I'm going to be abusing Jolt's Thunderbolt a lot. Especially when we get to the Water-type people. 
I still have one more. Bennett, uh, I gotta hurry up to fit this in. Ah, uh, Bennett, 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 I call this thing Jason because when I caught the uh, Aaron or Aaron or whatever the hell you call it, it looked like Jason's mask, so I figured, Jason, why not? It would have been very nice if that knocked it out so I could, didn't have to split this. Hopefully this will hit. No, full restore, why wouldn't you full restore? Everybody loves using full restores. Full restores kick ass. I love full restores so much. Full restores are my friend. Oh, and now you lower its defense. Okay, I'm afraid this thing will have levitate or some crap like that, so I'm going to keep using Iron Tail, and it's very nice that it's actually hitting. I'm not used to Iron Tail hitting. I'm used to it missing a lot more than it has. And Phoebe is dead, and I get to cut off the video. See you next time.